historic and unprecedented. That's what the U.S. and Israel are calling the test results of the Arrow 3 weapon system. U.S. Ambassador to Israel David Friedman joined Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu at the weekly cabinet meeting. Netanyahu addressed what he called the recent pioneering secret experiments. They were successful beyond any imagination. The Arrow 3, with complete success, intercepted ballistic missiles beyond the atmosphere at unprecedented altitudes and speeds. The execution was perfect, all precise hits. The results were uh, extraordinary. We're very proud of our uh, partnership with the State of Israel, uh, the funding that we provided for this, the technical uh, expertise that we added. The test comes at a time of growing tension between the U.S., Britain and Iran. The Arrow weapon system was tested against targets that behave like the ballistic missiles Iran is developing. Today, Israel has the ability to act against ballistic missiles that could be launched against us from Iran or anywhere else. This is a great achievement for the security of Israel. All our enemies should know that we will overcome them in both defense and offense. Israel transported and deployed the Arrow 3 system to Alaska to test capabilities that could not be tested in Israel. Ten years in the making, the Arrow 3 ballistic missile defense system is designed to intercept ballistic missiles outside the Earth's atmosphere, like intercontinental ballistic missiles. The test also proved the Arrow 3 can operate together with the U.S. radar system. The Arrow 3 is the highest level of Israel's four-tier missile defense system. That includes the Iron Dome, David Sling, and the Arrow 2 weapon systems. Besides the successful test of the rocket, defense officials Netanyahu and Friedman hailed a close cooperation and strategic partnership between the U.S. and Israel. This is uh, an extraordinary and an unprecedented example of the cooperation between our two great countries. And from here, may we continue to go upward and onward and making the world a safer place. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, Jerusalem.